This is one of four metal detectors at schools across Lancaster County bought by the district last year. I think parents in this day and time um, accept that the community has changed. School safety director Brian Vaughn says that's why Lancaster became the first school district in the area to take this step. Some parents think it was the right step at the right time. I love it because then they can't bring guns and knives and things like that that'll hurt other students with all the shootings going on. The detectors are set up at school entrances, but also outside classrooms at all times of the day, so it's not predictable. They've used the system more than a dozen times this school year. Kids are already in the classroom. We go in, we pull them out, you know, we do the checks. Um, there's nowhere to hide the weapons. There's nowhere to pass them off. Lancaster County has been using these metal detectors randomly in high schools for nearly a year and a half. And so far, good news for parents, they haven't found anything. We couldn't show you the devices being used at school due to privacy concerns, but they can be tuned to detect even small metal items. It's not practical to use them every day for all students, but some say it's brought some peace of mind, even about social media threats. When a person speaks something out of their mouth and believe it, it's, it's most likely in their heart somewhere, and it'll be carried out. Schools here say this is a good way to stop it. Okay. In Lancaster, Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. It's interesting that during those random checks in Lancaster County, they have the metal detecting wands, but also a dog that sniffs for gunpowder, and that way they can search in the classroom as well.